I'm Lucas Tivo, and my project is on cor the coral reef, current issues with coral reefs. So, coral reefs are in danger due to a number of reasons, such as destruction of reefs, things like pollution, global warming, and other reasons may include toxic substances and coral harvesting. So the first study that I did was on the effects of ocean warming and fishing. And the purpose of this study was to, one, explore food web structure of, coral reef eco of the coral reef ecosystem compared to other regions, and two, study the effects of ocean warming and fishing on coral reef ecosystems and identify the factors showing a greater influence. Now the methods used is there's a study area on Shisha Islands, um, which is archipelago, um, with one of the largest land areas of approximately 10 kilometers squared. The Ecopath with Ecoism model estimated the model for the XICR ecosystem, and the two models, the models combined Ecopath, which is a static, and Ecoism, which is a time dynamic model. So the results of the study is the Ecopath model showed an average, average per, perturbations of uh, perturbations EE, PB, and QB that were less than 10%. And there's less than 12% biomass disturbance. The XICR ecosystem um, trophic level, which is the number of organisms in a food chain in that particular ecosystem, which was 1 to 3.76 in cartilaginous, cartilaginous fish, TL was 3.76, which was the highest. In low and medium fishing scenarios, the model SSP126 was expected to show a biomass of non producers to increase to show biomass of non-producers to increase by 1.65% and 0.29% between 2009 and 2050. 1.32% um, decrease predicted for in the high fishing scenario. In all of the scenarios, no more than 2% chance had occurred in either of the models. So more results showed that between these two times, 2009 to 2050, Ecoism predicted a decrease in fish catches by 11.53, 2.62, and 4.73% for all the fishing efforts. The SSP 585 scenario showed that the XI SR ecosystem would have a decrease in fishing catches by 12.26, 3.78, and 4.78% for low, medium, and the high fishing scenarios. And on the Shisa Islands, all the scenarios had showed a decrease in the efficiency of the coral reef system. So in this first figure, it shows the ecopath results from four parameters, the QB, PB, EE, and the biomass. The second figure shows the changes in biomass for a non-producer. In the low fishing scenarios, medium fishing, and the high fishing scenarios. So the next study is natural and anthropogenic stress event study. The purpose of this study was to one show ecosystem recovery after a flood that occurred in the Pila uh, Reef off the north shore of Kauai, Hawaii, and to two show that climate change has a significant effect on the reef. So the methods used for this study was that identical surveys were conducted to replicate the original surveys from 2002 and determine the f reef recovery over 15 years. Then 2002 surveys are for the baseline for the reef and no available prior data was available, with no prior data available. And, and included in these surveys are large porites which are a genus of stony coral. Um, colony assessments, coral cores, 25 meter benthic transects, and, um, and sediment analyses. 
Assessments found data on size, frequency distributions, recruitment, coral condition, calcification rates, live cover, species composition, and sediment grain size and composition. So the um, results of this study is that a significant difference in coral cover between impacted and unimpacted sectors and showed unimpacted west had much higher cover in 2002. All the way back in 2017, there is no major significant statistical difference found between the two sectors in coral cover. And in between 2002 and 2017, the, so there's a significant increase in coral cover and notice the in the impacted system, e impacted eastern sector, and no significant difference in the unimpacted western se sector over the same amount of time. The 15 years between the two surveys showed a compositional shift of coral species. 2002 showed that there were 10 species in the impacted east and there's 11 in unimpacted western uh, sector. So more um, results from this study is that the impacted eastern sector had a highly dissimilar species composition between um, those two times, 2002 and 2017. And this is likely due to a decline in the species and a significant increase in colonies of several other species. The unimpacted sector showed high dissimilarity because of a high increase in other species in 2017. So this next study is the Tropical and Desert Fringing Coral Reef Study. And the purpose of this one is to one, determine what role coral reefs have in coastal meteorology, and two, determine whether the coupling of the overlying atmosphere of the reefs may control meteorology in some way. The methods are to is the study takes place at Harrow Reef off the Ghost of Gulf of Elot and to show changes in the atmosphere. The results of the study is um, things like momentum with the atmosphere, moisture and exchanges of heat play a factor in showing influ the influence of coral reefs and meteorology. Warmth of shallow waters enhance vertical motion of biogenic aerosols. Formation of unstable CRLs enhanced to the same effect. So this figure three um, on the 4th of February 2008 um, shows rain showers approaching Heron Reef and energy flux measurements taken on the reef flat. And in this fourth figure, it says virtual temperature mixing ratio and wind speed data from Heron Reef on, for the, on the same date, 4th February 2008, and around 95 degree wind direction. Which, uh, so, so this next study is sediments on coral reef study. The purpose of this one is to one, show where and how sediments are measured on coral reefs. Methods. Uh, got studies that showed amounts of sediments in the habitats of coral reefs, conducted single search using Web of Science used on the 8th of May 2020, and papers containing sedimentary reservoir or process. So the results of this, of this uh, study is that 419 papers containing 593 measurements of coral reefs that had sediments, relatively well distributed measurements all around. Reservoirs showed that 57% 339 measurements and sedimentary processes showed 43% 254 measurements. 55% of measurements taken from water from the water column, 34% off reef sediment apron, and 11% refill refill surface. 21% of the measurements had extra factors used to explain the factor of the reservoir. Um, so this next study is a Southeast Florida Coral Reef Ecosystem Study. The purpose of this study is to, one, showing value of regional data syntheses, and two, management activities becoming improved. Methods. Data collection was used in adjacent federal waters and coastal state waters between northern and southern boundaries of ECA, of ECA. focal species selected, and selected from initial reports from users, government reports, etc. So the results of the study is that 27 studies related to the target species um, occurred, 24, 24 of which were outside the study region. The mutton snapper age growth and mortality shown from the three remaining articles. 
and the gray snapper movement management and life history was also recorded. The conclusions from all these studies is that a large decrease in fish and catches in coral reef habitats is definitely an issue. Partial coral reef recovery that um, happened between 2002 and 2017. Um, there are more coral colonies and species that have been founded since then. Climate change has had a big effect on coral reefs and sedimentation on coral reefs also measured, which is also very important for coral reefs and um, different species being discovered over the years have uh, also happened. So reefs are clearly in danger from climate change and ocean warming as um, shown in the studies. And a decline in fish catching rates is also a problem for the ecosystem altogether and more sedimentation research needed to maintain our reefs um, and reefs are also in danger with climate change and pollution.